All right, guys, welcome to RC Mojo. This week we've got an enormous mystery box. Well, I know what's inside the box, but for you guys, it is a bit of a mystery. You see, the old mental health has been a bit iffy the last couple of weeks, as it often does this time of year. Add to that a bit too much Christmas spirits on the 25th, and I found I'd ordered something quite sizable when I checked my email a couple of days later. First out of the box are the very large airbags for the packing. That will be fun to pop later. The first useful thing out of the box though is a Hobbywing Fusion SE, which is quickly becoming my go-to motor ESC for slow moving vehicles. This one being the 1200 kV version. To get the next box out of the big box, I'll have to move off camera where there's a bit more space. It's a little bit awkward to say the least. And after that struggle, not too surprisingly, inside we find a Tamiya box, still factory sealed for goodness. Although, of course, I've got it upside down, so before we open it up, we'll need to flip it over. Right, now we can peel up the flaps and see what we have. They're glued down, so need a good pull to open. And yes, inside is exactly what I ordered. As with all the Tamiya stuff, the box art is really nice and makes me want to get stuck in right away. And I suppose you'll also want to see what it is too. Well, we have a Tamiya Arox 8x4 tipper truck. Yet another Tamiya lorry. Should be fun. Unfortunately though, I'm still waiting for a few more bits before we can start building. The plan is to swap out the front axles for aftermarket ones with less slop, along with the rod ends, just like we did on the Scania 770, except this time of course it's a twin steer. We'll be using a micro servo for the three speed shifter to make space for the brushless motor, and initially we'll build it with the tipper fixed, but the plan is to try and come up with a 3D printable actuator set, maybe powered with a continuous rotation servo. I'm not too sure yet, I really need to see all the bits come together just to see how much space there is. We might as well have a quick look in the box, where we find a nicely presented kit. Not just a large pile of bags you get with most of them. Always nice to see. We'll have a proper look at what's inside once everything else turns up. Most of it's in the UK, so it shouldn't be too long after the new year. So yeah, not entirely planned, but definitely one of the trucks I've had my eye on. Right, so that's it for 2023. Hope you have a good New Year's, and I hope you have a good new year. Don't drink too much, and enjoy the fireworks. As always, thanks for watching, like if you like, subscribe if you haven't, and leave a comment if there's something on your mind. Bye guys!